Welcome YouTubers to a clean brick video. Today we have a complete tutorial on our standard armor assault mech model 1. It's a bipedal death machine with guided missiles, rocket pods, quad cannon, flamethrower, and anti-aircraft laser. Our machine is built into six main sections. A leg assembly, quad cannon, rocket pod, engine block, top turret assembly, and a cockpit. Check the description for a list of some of the specialty parts used and shortcuts to each of the building segments. First we'll go over how to build the legs and torso base. Each leg consists of eight fairly basic parts. The vital component here is the Technic axle with two ball joints. The Kai's fire mech set is a good buy to get this piece. This part gives the mech a good amount of range for posability and is very sturdy. So we're going to start with this long slanted part, go on the 1x6 plate. We're going to put the 2x2 two two brick with a ball on the bottom. Another regular 2x2 two two brick, and this is a 1x1 one one with a joint hinge. So that's the first leg completed. And next we'll go to the left leg. Again, this is one by six, sorry, the two by six plate with a one by, with a two by four angled brick. And this leg is the same design as the other, just inverted. And this is one of the inverted bricks we'll use on the inside of the foot. And the actual connector will go there. Next is the hip platform. It's a 4x6 plate. We'll put a 2x3 brick underneath. And we'll need more ball joints. We'll put a 2x4 plate on the bottom underneath the ball joints, and these are just for decoration here. You can replace these with some other parts you might have. And on the top, we'll get this angled brick for the base. You might need to get a couple 2x4 angled bricks and put them underneath. The It'll have the same, it'll be just as sturdy. So we'll put the legs on. And the turn turntable on top will provide torso support and 360 degree mobility. So our legs and waist are complete. Next we'll build a quad cannon, which is on the right side of the mech. We'll start with a 2x4 brick with holes on each side. We'll have a 2x2 two two brick with the part poking out. And on the back of that, we'll get the piece there. We'll need a plate with a spinning circle disc. And then a 2x2 two two plate with a hole on the archway. We'll put the cannons there. Sorry, the we'll need this octagon shape part. If you don't have it, you can replace it with just a regular plate. But this adds a nice uh, touch to the to the design. And on the outside, we'll put one of the circles. And we'll need a one by two plate on the back. And on the back of that, we're going to attach this design here. It's a 1x2 with a clip on the back. On 
We're going to attach this to the back of the cannon for an, it'll be an additional laser. Could be a targeting device. We've got this magnet on the back, sort of a stand in radar dish. This is a chair piece. We're going to do a similar design with the 2x2 two two brick and the axle part on the back, which is a Technic driving ring extension. It's for the hose input that will feed the quad cannons. We did a 1x4 brick here with the holes on the side. We're going to clip the weapon into the side of that. This is an optional piece if you don't have it. We're going to put an axle in there and then a steering wheel inside of that. Attach that to the underside of the 2x2 two two brick. And that whole design goes on the back side on the back side of the 2x4. And we'll clip the hoses in there. Later those will attach to the engine block. Next we'll construct the rocket pod, which is on the left hand side of the mech. We're going to start with a 1x2 plate with a clip. We're going to hook on that little arm there and put it in the flamethrower. Next we're going to use a 1 by 3 plate. That'll go underneath and only clip one of the sled studs. The 1 by 2 plate will go on top of that and we'll need another 2 by 4 with holes on each side. On the outside On the outside, we're going to clip the flamethrower on the bottom part of the 2x4. And we're going to use a 1x2 plate here with the fingers and hook the part in there and then stick in the bar. On top of that, a 1x2 plate. And those will clip on above the rocket launcher. And now you've got some plates that sort of align there. And that's where we'll attach the 2x4 two plate. That's a 2x2 two two plate. We've got two more plates here. And a 2x6 a 2x4 will go on the back end of that, and on the other side we'll attach all of our three of our three airplane turbines. And the whole construction will stand vertically. Now we'll move to the engine block. We'll start with this 2x6 plate, and we're going to use an angled 4x4. Four four. You could also use two 2x4 two sloped bricks. I'm going to get a couple different blocks and stack those on top of each other. It'll give the engine some mass. And a couple round bricks with a flat round brick on top, or flat round plate on top. Next we're going to use these 1x3 bricks. You can grab any 1x4, just grab any um, any 1x4 you have. The holes aren't needed for this design. The 2x2 plates with the wrap around, with a 1x2 plate that wraps around on top, those will go on the top.
and then a 2 by 8 base plate will go on the bottom. And then some tall 2 by 3. Sorry, it's a 1 by 2 4 brick high angled plate. 